Oh, great, you're here. We were just about to ponder on a ludicrous yet captivating question. What if we could build cities in the sky? That's right. We're talking stratospheric skyscrapers and hovering homes. Sounds like sci-fi, but come on, who doesn't enjoy a little bit of fantasy stirred into their reality broth? Rest assured, you've turned up to the right place to unlock the wonders of the hypothetical. This is What If Lab, your one and only hub where we explore the what-ifs that shape our world. And today we're all set to launch our curious minds all the way up to the heavens. Building cities in the sky sounds like the perfect solution to our overcrowded, overpolluted Earth, right? Plus, think about the views, undeniably insta-worthy. However, before we pack our bags and book a hot air balloon taxi service, let's try to understand our current foundations. Modern cities as they stand, or rather sprawl, are bound by the laws of physics and constrained by the limitations of our materials. Concrete and steel, they've been our reliable buddies for centuries, even though they need to diet a bit, you know, to shed a few tons. But hey, we're not here to body shame building materials, are we? So, for our sky cities to work, we'd need materials lighter than what we currently have, yet just as sturdy. Nanomaterials, like graphene, might just be the ticket. Not only is it 200 times stronger than steel, but it's also terrifically thin and light. What's the catch, you ask? We're just not quite there with mass producing it yet, let alone using it to construct towering cities amid cumulus clouds. Way to burst your vapor-filled bubble, right? But let's suspend reality for a while and assume we're as proficient at producing graphene as your grandma is at churning out your favorite cookies. With abundance of such material, we could in theory build structures reaching up to six kilometers high. That's like assembling 15 Burj Khalifas on top of each other. Now, you might be feeling a tad lightheaded just thinking about this, but up in the sky comes with its own set of challenges. Like staying there, for instance. Conventional engineering would be blown away, quite literally. Have you ever tried walking against gale force winds? Not fun, and it gets worse. At those heights, the temperature takes a nosedive. There's potential for cosmic ray exposure, and let's not forget the low oxygen levels. You'd literally be breathless, and not in the romantic way. Yes, it sounds like a logistical nightmare, no matter how many sci-fi movies make it look easy. They have their own department of imaginary physics, after all. But here at What If Lab, we're also dreamers, and we refuse to be entirely bound by reality. Sky cities could perhaps become a reality one day, thanks to advancements in technology, new materials, and not to mention our persistent desire to write our own narrative, one that doesn't include overcrowded, polluted cities. Floating homes, sky cafes, cloud schools. It's a fantasy world that gives a whole new meaning to head in the clouds. It might not be just around the corner, but who knows what the future holds. If you've enjoyed this soaring series of What Ifs, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to What If Lab. We're here providing a gravitational pull to your curiosity. Where will our imaginations lead us next time? Tune in to find out. Until then, keep contemplating the hypothetical. And remember, the sky is not the limit, or is it? But that's a question for another what if. Goodbye and ever upward.